Okay, everybody, so I hope that you guys can see and don't see like too much nonsense going on. So we're going to be working on Heaven and Earth Designs Janessa today. And yeah, we're just going to do a quick little stitch with me. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys a picture of her. Um... Uh, let me see. I don't know if you guys are in view. Let me see. I have the camera at a very, very different angle today. That's the one that we're working on. There we go. Janessa. And then that's also my mini What's Pot of Fairy Tale. Um, yes, I have more Heaven and Earth design charts than that, but those are the only ones that I have in my tablet right now. Um, because the other ones are in my phone. I told you guys that that was one of my problems with Heaven and Earth Designs was my um, issue with ha being able to use them um, on different devices, but whatever, it is what it is. I was going to preload my thread and then just didn't. So I'm trying a different angle today because I want to be able to when I listen to my, I'm trying to get a new thread, guys. Um, and when I'm editing and stuff, I notice that the sound is always really wonky. And so I'm trying to avoid that this time. So anyway, um, we are one week down with the quarantine. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but my university has officially made the rest of the year online so I don't know I mean I know that we're capable of finishing the rest of the semester online but I don't know what that's going to mean for the rest of the world I'm kind of nervous about it because I just don't know like my kids um school they've been calling around and uh checking on students and whatnot and asking you know, does your child have access to the internet and blah, blah, blah. My children's school, I don't know if they just weren't prepared for online learning. I'm probably going to have to move you guys if they weren't prepared for online learning. But, um, whoops. They... Yeah, I think you guys will be fine right here for a bit. Um... They didn't send the kids home with anything, for the most part. Um, my daughter, one of my daughters is in kindergarten. Her teacher sent them home with a packet of stuff to work on. But the other students, they just said, don't worry about it. Um, you know, we're not um, focusing on homework right now. Like, we just want to make sure that everybody's safe and um, you know, children are not getting sick and whatnot, and so, you know, which is great, but at the same time, it's like, well, what are we, you know, I'm really scared that they're going to fall behind, you know, and I think that's a lot of worry for a lot of places. I feel like our school system just wasn't as prepared for interactive online learning, I guess they're calling it. They're not calling it homeschool. They're calling it online learning. I'm having a really hard time because of this angle. I might have to move you guys in a bit. Um, so I don't know. They were calling around and asking, that's what I was starting to say, is that everybody, they were calling around and asking if everybody had internet access so that we could, I guess, um, they're trying to gauge if online learning is going to be a possibility for them. It's just so sad for me because my youngest is in kindergarten and she's not going to be able to have a kindergarten ceremony if, um, it can, it goes into online learning for the rest of the year. So it's, I don't know. I'm just, my husband's like, she's not going to have a ceremony. Like that's so sad. 
and I agree like I'm really bummed out about it I know that that's like this the tiniest of worries in you know in retrospect of all this stuff but it's still kind of sad you know sometimes I have a hard time because I'm doing tent stitch on this and sometimes I have a hard time like figuring out where my stitches are gonna be because they're so small so I'm doing this on 28 count even weave see that did not okay yeah because that does not go there now I have to come back up Oh man, messed up, which is fine because the coffee's done anyway, so I'm going to take a break and I'm probably going to put you guys in a different, different spit. So did I come up in the wrong spot? Is that what I did? So it's going to be one, two, no, I think it's right. I get really confused with the 10 stitch on the ending stitches because they, um, they're slanted. And so sometimes I'm like, is that the right hole? Can't quite tell, but I'm not really gonna have to move you guys because um, you're just not close enough to the edge to be able to see everything. So I'm gonna have to use my right hand here for a second and then get this in there. So anyway. Um, my husband and my two stepsons all lost their jobs because of this, uh, virus. I don't want to say that they lost their jobs. They still have their job, but they all got sent home because of the virus without pay. So we are not one of the lucky families who don't have anything to worry about. I am, I know there's a lot of floss tubers that I watch that are very blessed that don't have to worry about anything or they get to work from home. Um, I currently work from home, but my income is basically spending money and like now in times where we need it, um, it's, it basically only pays utilities because I don't, um, you know, we have car payments and mortgage and everything like that so we don't have like a whole lot of um income so i mean we have income it just we've got a very large family and we've got a lot of bills i guess i should say um mystical diamond art does decently well but I am still building the company, and because of that, I am mostly just investing um, most of the money back into her so that she's there only one stitch there, two stitches there, and two stitches there. Okay, yeah. Um, mostly investing back into the company. Um, so I'm just paying myself a little bit less, which at now at this time is probably going to have to change because we're going to be relying on the Mystical Diamond Art money a little bit more now. And then now with other people aren't working, you know, sales are going to be slowing down significantly. So it just, this is a very difficult time. I was going to record this video last week and then ultimately just... I just was not feeling it. Um, I need to do a diamond paint with me as well, which I'll probably do. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. But um, I don't know. I, I just jumped right into this video, you guys. So I'm sorry. But thank you for all of my new subscribers. And thank you to my returning subscribers and everybody. I just... I want to try to do more videos for you guys in this difficult time to keep people busy and, you know, kind of off all of the ridiculous stuff that's going on right now. This is a hot, difficult time for a lot of people. Um, so I will have a little bit more time on my hands now because I, um, a lot of you guys know, but if you're new here, I'm a full-time college student. And since our classes have transitioned to online, um, I'm going to be learning from home now, which I already had two online classes, so three of my classes were campus classes, but um, 
the university is all the way on the other side of my town and I live in the city so you guys know that even like if it's down the street in a city it can take like 10 or 15 minutes so driving over there is like a 15 20 minute drive then finding a parking is like another five or ten minutes just depending and <clears throat> you know so I've got several hours of my day free now even if I just spent my class hours on my computer um, learning as if I was still in a classroom I still am saving several hours a day because I'm not driving over there anymore so that's a really good thing and then plus in the morning that take it takes me like 45 minutes to take my kids to school um, just because getting through the school zones and everything is takes quite some time and then my son um, because when you live in the city again even if you move a block away it moves your kids out of a school district and you're forced to go to a different school and so my son, he was going into seventh grade when we moved and I didn't want to have to change his school district. And so I got permission to keep him in that school, which is great, except that it takes me about 12 minutes to take him over there. And then you know that's just driving over there so then i still have to go through you know you gotta drive slow through the school zone and then um you know all the traffic and everything and then in the afternoons it takes me well it still takes me about the same amount of time to to get through there so you know i don't know it is what it is i guess i'm gonna take a break really quickly and go get some coffee. I'm going to review this footage real quick and if it's crap, I'm going to scrap it and start over. We shall see. So, don't pay attention to my pajamas here. Alright, working with pattern keepers is difficult. Alright, we are back. I can't quite figure out how I had you guys before, so I just hope that this angle is going to work. Um, I don't plan on making this video too incredibly long anyway, so yeah, um, I just, I kind of want to just come to you guys, give you guys a little bit of content, um, with everything that's going on right now. It's kind of scary out there. I don't know, you know, we have several cases of the virus in my city. I think I saw last night that it was... Four. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm, I'm. I might be mistaken. Which I know there's other places that have more. Um. But it's just crazy. My husband and I were able yesterday to go out and get plenty of groceries. Um. At one of the local stores and I'm very thankful for that that we were able to do that um my husband might have to go out of town tomorrow which is scary uh because of his company so he was on his way home he works out of town and when he found out that everything was going to be stopping for his company um he was already on his way home and when he stays out of town, he stays in a travel trailer, which is like not an RV because you can't drive it. You have to hook it up to a truck. But, you know, for those of you who don't know what they are. And so um, he was already like halfway home when they called him and told him like, hey, we're not going to come back to work on Monday. And so he's like, well okay you know what can I do but um so he's gonna have to go back tomorrow they told him that he could go back and pick up his check that they're gonna have it ready for everybody and then um he has to pick up the trailer because we can't leave it there 
um, I'm sure, you know, the, those owners of those park are going to still want um, rent for the lot, you know, and that's not something we're going to be able to do with my husband not working, and it makes no sense to keep it there. You know, if he would have been closer enough to the place, I would have told him, you know, go back and get it, but he said he was too far um, to turn around, and he, um, they'd already driven, and they'd end up they'd have to spend another night if they were to go back and get it because they were just too far because it's about a four hour drive one way so that is likely what he's going to be doing tomorrow and I'm so nervous because I just don't want him stopping at truck stops and gas stations and places because you're, we're going through so we, we have confirmed cases in my city we have confirmed cases in the next city over and it just makes me nervous because like we don't know like what those people touched and uh, I don't know I just I hope that the video is not too like of a downer but it honestly just reflects how I'm feeling right now I've been stitching so much lately um, I got a lot of work done on my Harry Potter um, stitch your own adventure I got a lot of stuff done on the chopping mall which you guys will see I'm hoping to be caught up with all the characters by the time the next release comes out and then just have that last character and the top of the house because I'm really disliking working on the top of the house I don't know what it is but for some reason the white floss that I have which is B5200 is just god awful to work with and so is my 310 it's all DMC and I honestly think it's because, why is my string so short? <clears throat> I honestly think it's because when I made my project bag, I didn't line the inside. I only left the interfacing. And the interfacing um, was really fuzzy. Like it left a lot of fuzz on the floss and of course with the 310 it just turned the 310 into this like really weird <clears throat> like I don't know it just has all kinds of fuzz on it and it made it like I don't want to say brittle but it's giving it a very awful effect but I don't want to waste any of it you can't tell once the stitch is already done and I pick the fuzz off, but you can definitely feel it when you're working with it. And so, um, I think I have two more strands left, which I will go through like nothing once I start working on the, the banner again. And then I'll open a new, uh, well, you're not really opening a new skein, but I will, um, prep another skein of that. So, Yeah. I don't know why, but this quarantine is making me want to start all the things. And that is not like me at all. Like, I'm always um, pretty like, no, I don't want to start anything. I want to finish what I have. I have plenty. I have plenty. And I don't know why. I just, I've had my shopping cart at 123 Stitch ready to go for like a week. Well, since my last order, I did place another small order at 123 Stitch. Not a lot. I, I seriously got like $19 worth of things with shipping. So um, it was just a very small order, ordering some floss that I needed for, um, why didn't it, oh man, it didn't do, why is the frog on here? Did I double tap it for some reason? Okay. Dang it, I don't know what I did, but the frog came up and he just took off all of my stitches. So now I have to go back and re... Do it. I don't know why they're not... <clears throat> Can you guys... Oh my god, what is happening? Hold on. Okay, it did it. It's like freaking out on me. Okay. I think what it did was it froze. Because it did it and then I went to 
um, tap it and it didn't show up. So I tapped it again and it frogged it all. So yeah, there we go. All right, I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, starting all the things. So I don't know, it's not like me to want to start so many new things. And I have plenty, you guys. Like look at this right here. I have every floss for this. Um, I might need like one or two of the repeats of this game that called for more than one skein. I think I need a couple more of those, but honestly, I honestly I don't think I'm gonna need more because I'm doing tent stitch and Michelle's um, designing Michelle, she's the one who charts all the head and art design charts. She designs these as if you're doing them two over one um, full cross on 25 count fabric. And I'm not doing that. I'm doing two over one tent on 28 count. So I'm using a higher count already. So I had to get you off because my everybody started waking up and um, I needed to press pause for a few minutes. Um, so yeah, this is where I got. I got all of this done here in the video. Um, I left off saying that I, I wasn't sure if I was going to run out of floss or not. I honestly don't think I am because I'm doing 10 stitch and like I said, um, Michelle's charts call for doing full cross so I'm pretty much using half I'm already using half the floss and I'm using a higher count because she counts for 25 count fabric and I'm doing 28 so I think we'll be fine I'm sorry if you can see my computer old school windows <laughs> screensaver um, but yeah so today let me see if I can show you guys here on my, oh yeah, I can show you. So this is Pattern Keeper. Hold on, let me get it on the, so I can move it. Um, today we did all of this line coming down. I don't know exactly where I started, but we did that. Oh yeah, way up here. Because I remember skipping this one stitch. Um, we started up here somewhere and we did all of this going down. And I did it until I ran out of the one strand of floss I was using. And today... We did 104 stitches, and I've totaled 356 stitches on this, and we are 0.2% complete of Janessa. So, there it is, you guys. That is all. I think I'm going to try to do a couple more of these videos like this for you guys, just so you guys can see me um, work on some different projects, um, touch a couple of different things. Um, yeah, so you guys can kind of see more of my stitching style. There is a tag that I'd like to do at some point. Um, it's just with so many interruptions, um, I haven't been able to actually complete it. Um, also, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, the hashtag Aries B Day Sal. I have decided not to do it. Um, I could have sworn that I looked at my Mirabilia pattern a lot closer than I did and thought that there was not going to be any fractional stitches. There is. If it was half stitches, I was completely comfortable doing half stitches on Ada. But there's a bunch of three quarter stitches on quarter stitches that I am not comfortable doing on Ada. It just, they just don't look right. So I am going to wait until I can order myself a piece of 32 count fabric for, which is what she calls for. Um, and they'll look a lot better. So that that's going to happen at some point. Um, but yeah. All right, you guys, that is it. I will talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, before I forget, hopefully you guys didn't exit out of the video yet. Um, we have a winner for the Hello Summer drawing. So I'm going to insert a picture here of the screenshot and of her comment um, so you guys can read it and see what it says. I know she was talking about Autumn Magic. I can't see the screenshot in front of me right now. Um, but she says she can't wait for summer to be here and hopefully she gets a warm summer. So congratulations to the winner. Um, in this video, I'm going to put up a link to a Google Doc that you guys can fill out. If you ever want to participate in any of my giveaways, um, please put your information in the Google Doc. I will also be putting... Um, a 
asking for your guys' birthdays. And I'm thinking at some point, not right now, but at some point in the near future of doing a monthly birthday kind of giveaway thing. And I'm thinking of waiting till the end of the month and drawing a birthday winner for that month just so it gives new people the chance to join. Um, but that question is not going to be required. What's going to be required is your email, your name, and your mailing address. Nobody is going to have access to the Google Doc except for me. And from now on, if you don't fill this Google Doc out, then you cannot participate in um, the giveaways because I don't want to be hunting people down um, and giving people the chance to scam the winner out of her winnings. So yeah, there you guys go. Uh, congratulations to you on the Hello Summer chart and I will send this to you. I'm still shipping things out. Um, so yeah, there you guys have it. See you later.